Well, this fall I got uh, gophers and moles cleaned up the pasture. And here we are going into February. Uh, it is February now. And uh, the moles and gophers breed in March and April. So now they've moved down from uh, this other pasture. So I've got to get them before they breed. Here's hoping I've got one here. Sure enough, got one here. I was a little worried, uh, but uh, I put the flags down in through the hole here so that uh, they can't pull it back. Now uh, there's his teeth. I don't know if you can see them. Good size one. Look at those gnarly, gnarly teeth. Let's see what's on the other one. Probably nothing. Nope, but there was one on that side. I have to set another trap. If you do this for yourself, you gotta learn uh, what's uh, an active tunnel. And they're always uh, really nice and clean. This one is not as clean as it should be. Uh, but you can see that way you don't waste your time. And then you're probably wondering how I knew there was another one over here. Well, when I set the traps, I put loose dirt in the holes up against to block it before I put the sod back in. Well, when I pulled the sod out, I noticed that a tunnel had been created from this one over here where the trap was sprung over to here where the gopher, that gopher was dead. So there had to be one that came from over here, started to go through to the other tunnel, and then turned around and went back. So I'll set another trap. Okay, here's a good one I just dug up. It's up here by, uh, by the fence line where they're just kind of coming through. But you can see how nice and clean it is going both ways. So this is a really uh, active uh, pathway or highway, however you want to look at it. So I can set my traps. <laughs> 